talk about loops. So loops like um, in the sense of a for loop, um, what is done in other programming language with a counter. And um, so our our example to see how this works is is the average. So we want to calculate the average. Of course, there's a Python function somewhere in the module already available, but we write our own average routine here, or average Python file. And so so let's say we have we have data x equals to 1, 5, and 10. And we would like to calculate the average out of this. So how do we do this? So we so we create a variable called average where we sum up all these values here. So that's our our average value at the end. We set this to zero. And now we would like to to add these three values up in a loop. So we write four and then take an index variable i. And now um, what is different to other languages is we write now i in of of range of three because we have got three elements here. So remember the range, the range operator here. So range range generates generates as as the numbers the numbers from from zero to two. So that's generates 0, 1, and 2. And, um, and so now, now, we, now we would like to have a conditional execution here, which is happening through the for loop here, and we're writing again the colon here. Now we have again four white spaces here. So we have um, one space, two space, three, four. And then, and then here we write average equals to average plus and then here we've got our array here x of i and then this um, sums sums it all up and then and then we can print this here print this here out remember this is now executed all the time so print and divided by three because we have got three elements obviously that's dirty programming there should be a variable or should should directly analyze the length um, of our input array here but that that will do so let's um let's just try try this out so where's the ana the anaconda environment here there okay get let's just get rid of our of our hello world program here again um, and, and let's just write the loop here so x equals one five and and ten so that's our data here we create this variable here where we sum up the stuff and then for i in range to three and we see already here the environment automatically does again again the indent here and so i do plus x x of i and now I just just would like to print this out the result print print of a v g divided by three okay so let's just um, save this and run it um, and that's our average number here that's hopefully hopefully true Let's just, just see if it changes here to zero. Yeah, so so that that looks quite trustworthy. So this one here is then executed as a loop body here. So that's executed three times. And um, if we just go back here to the to my handwritten stuff here. So again, these are our four four white spaces. So these are here. four spaces and then and then this one here is executed 
as part of the loop and anything what has these four white space in front of it will be part of this loop here. Obviously you can nest loops by putting another for loop inside here and then do another indent and um, I'm pretty sure you will be doing this in one of the, the exercises.